All right, the 25th anniversary Super Mario Brothers. This is something I've been looking forward to checking out. I think I might have to pick this one up. And it's just Super Mario All-Stars. Really? This is no joke. It's a port of a Super Nintendo game on a Wii disc? What? What? How does that get made? A there was a superior version to All Stars made the year after it came out with Super Mario World on it. But guess what? That's not on this. No, the Wii disc obviously couldn't handle the oh, whole Super Mario World. Oh wait, no, they couldn't put Super Mario World on the Wii disc version. You know why? Because that cut into virtual console sales. Seriously, this just really blows my mind. Could Nintendo be any lazier? A port of a Super Nintendo game for the Wii. Did they give a flying fuck about this? this uh, <laughs> Look at the buttons it tells you to use even when you're in it. They couldn't even be bothered to show a fucking Wii mode. <laughs> I hope you have your Super Nintendo Wii controllers ready. Oh, <laughs> oh wait, I'm sorry. This thing is clearly worth it as it comes with an extended instruction booklet. And a soundtrack! Wow! <laughs> now it's worth 50 or $60. Nintendo didn't want to do a fucking thing. Really? The only reason I can see that they didn't release this version of Mario All-Stars with Super Mario World on it is because, well, Super Mario World's on the virtual console and might cut into a few of their stupid little virtual console sales. Uh-oh. <laughs> but that's okay, because people will buy the piece of shit anyway if it comes with a book and a CD. And you know what? One of the even funnier things with the Super Mario All-Stars with Super Mario World on it is they actually updated Super Mario World. They didn't even just port Super Mario World to the Super Nintendo cartridge. They updated it! Because in the original Super Mario World, Luigi was just a green Mario sprite. But in this version, they actually updated Luigi to give him his own sprite. Amazing! An update! Ha <laughs> ha! I wish they could have found space on the Wii disc to update this. <laughs> oh no, no, no. Wow, Nintendo, just wow. Give you one year after the release of a game, you'll do something really cool. Give you 17 years, you'll do... Fuck all. Hell, a lot more effort was put into putting these Mario games on the Game Boy. Super Mario Deluxe is probably the closest thing to just being a port, but even it had extra modes to it, and a version of the Japanese Super Mario 2. And these, despite having the similar Super Nintendo style graphics, aren't even just a rip from the Super Mario All-Stars version. Hell, a lot of effort was actually put into Super Mario 3 on the Game Boy Advance. They gave you cards that let you scan in no extra levels and stuff. You could scan in more power-ups. You could even scan in the feather from Super Mario World and use that in Super Mario 3. But, oh, guess what you get to do in this? The same fucking shit, it's just the Super Nintendo game. Yeah, I know, this is a pretty silly thing to bitch over, but I'm just really amazed that this thing came out. It's just zero fucking effort. In fact, I have a feeling that the planning for this game went a little like this. Well, I'm on the way out. Oh, yeah, before I go, I remembered, uh, Mary's 25th anniversary is coming up. You want to do something for that? Oh, really? Shit. Uh, I don't know. You want to do something for it? Oh, pff, I don't know if I feel like doing too much. Uh, we could do something simple like new Super Mario Brothers Wii 2 or something. What? A new game for the 25th anniversary? Well, just new levels, pretty much. Yeah, but still, uh, when's the last time we released the uh, Nintendo Mario games? Can we get away with that again? Oh, um, well, we haven't put uh, Super Mario All-Stars on Virtual Console. We could probably do that. Uh, no, 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 no. Check this. We put it on a Wii disc. Yeah, I like it, but how the hell are we going to get away with that? No, 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 we can do this, we can do this. We just got to add, you know, like, some little things with it, like a, a bigger instruction booklet with the history of Mario and one other little thing. Um, Soundtrack CD? Yes! Bam! $50.
Yeah, but people might take a look at that and realize what's up. Hmm, you're right. We need something to make them rush into buying it. Got it! We call it limited edition! Oh, we are in the money! Hey, why don't we actually do something cool like Super Mario 3 2 for Wii? You're fired! Anyway, I'll get to work porting this for the Wii. No, no, don't do the one with Mario World on it. That might kind of virtual console sales. Just, just do the normal one. Alright, and oh, there is that graphic with the Super Nintendo controller in the game. Should we update that with the Wiimote? Eh, how long will that take? I don't know, five minutes? Nah, screw it. Okay. So yeah, it's my little rant on Super Mario Limited Edition. It just really blows my mind. One year, an added game with even an update to it. 17 years and the 25th anniversary of the franchise. Eh, can't be bothered to do anything other than a port. Oh, mamma mia, don't listen to him. Super Mario All-Stars 25th Anniversary version is completely worth it. And don't forget, it's limited edition. Really, Mario? Of course I... <coughs> no, if you buy Super Mario Bros. 25th Anniversary version, you go to hell before you die. Please. Right. What? What? How did this get made? What the fuck? <laughs> oh no, don't listen to him. Super Mario Brothers thingy-majig is worth it. Fuck.